from animals that can quickly outcompete their local rivals for food to goldfish that grow at an exponential rate outside their tanks, here are pets that you should never release into the wild. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your host, American Eye, keeping an eye on everything you want to know. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, leave us a comment, and then you can subscribe for more videos every week. Number 11. Lionfish This commonly found venomous fish is found off the coast of Florida and the Carolinas, mostly due to its exportation from the Indian Ocean. People like having them in their aquariums, but were able to invade our coastlines when they were introduced to our oceans. They have thrived in our environment and are now considered to be an invasive species. Their poisonous fins makes them deadly to scuba divers or fishermen who are unlucky enough to get pricked. Symptoms of a sting can include vomiting, fever, breathing problems, dizziness, and even paralysis in some cases. Some have the idea that these creatures could be fished and eaten, but the idea hasn't caught on too well. Number 10. The Nile Monitor When someone buys a Nile Monitor lizard, they're typically oblivious to the fact that in a few years, they'll become a ferocious carnivore set on wreaking havoc. This displaced reptilian is native to Africa in many human environments and has been brought over to Florida where they don't compete for food quite as much. They are excellent climbers and have the ability to completely disrupt ecosystems and turn national parks into all-you-can-eat buffets. They're known to eat things such as snails, fish, frogs, crocodile eggs, snakes, birds, small mammals, and so on. A large population of Nile monitors have been found in places like Palm Beach County, Fort Myers, and especially on Gasparilla Island. These thieving lizards will relentlessly raid alligator nesting sites who are native to the area and don't typically expect this kind of behavior. They're also extremely aggressive and territorial, and it's not uncommon for people to get bit or scratched. Number 9. Green Iguanas Reptiles typically take a lot of work to take care of, and they probably won't want to be stuck in the cage all day, so might as well release into the wild, right? Whoa, whoa, think again. Iguanas are native to the Caribbean and will likely have a bad reaction if you put them into a cold environment. During the past winter, Miami had a record low temperature, which didn't bode well with the local iguana population. Lizards are, of course, cold-blooded creatures and prefer warmer climates. This tweet here suggests letting them thaw out a little bit. Despite them being an invasive species, iguanas can serve as helpful creatures in the fight against mosquitoes. Passers-by were shocked when frozen iguanas were literally falling from the sky due to them not being warm enough. Either the iguanas were left in a catatonic state or just perished from the fall. The good news though, if the population gets too out of control, iguanas can turn into a good food source, especially since they tend to eat very clean diets. Iguanas mainly eat flowers and vegetable shoots. Have you ever tried to eat an iguana before? Let us know in the comment section. Number 8. Goldfish Goldfish were probably one of your favorite pets growing up, but goldfish invasions have been known to affect places like Alberta, Colorado, Nevada, and other places around the world. Goldfish are domesticated species of carp that are difficult to control since they are filter feeders and aren't typically lured in by fishermen unless they have a net. They can also reproduce extremely quickly, with one case showing that they can carry 2 million eggs at one time. In China, they were valued as a good food source, but in the US, they're seen as bottom-feeding nuisances that drive more valuable fish out of water. They require a large amount of plankton to stay alive, which is the main food source for other native species. They'll also basically eat anything, including snails to roots. The carp can cause damage to multiple aspects of the water. They're typically found in the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes, but they're believed to exist in every continental state in the U.S. right now. Without the restraints of a small fish tank, they're capable of ballooning in size. Number 7. Cuban Tree Frogs This next invasive amphibian seems harmless, but don't let his instant looks fool you. Also foreign to Florida, these tree frogs can thrive in urban environments as long as it's humid. They've been able to establish a successful breeding population and are able to outcompete local tree frogs for resources. In fact, they're dominant enough to actually eat each other. If things get rough enough, other Cuban tree frogs are also on their menu. This shows how little cares are given. Although it's very small, they tend to cause quite a few problems. They're excellent climbers, and suction cups on their feet can allow them to hang out upside down or on the side of a tree. While Cuban sandwiches might be delicious to eat, Cuban tree frogs are not. They're slightly toxic, and you can definitely get sick from eating one. One of the biggest concerns about them is that they'll attack other species of animals who eat mosquitoes, making it hard to control that population. Number 6. Hedgehogs Hedgehogs probably aren't as dangerous as some on this list, but with their popularity rising as an exotic pet, people don't always realize that they can be dangerous. They're absolutely adorable, and many people would love to get their hands on these, but maybe they shouldn't. 
Not everyone is always ready to take care of these animals, who require a fair amount of responsibility. Although they can survive for a decent period of time, being in a human environment with cars and people walking around is just safer if you don't let them out. Their instincts will kick in and tell them to disperse, and they will search for others of their kind, but it's highly unlikely that they'll find any. Hedgehogs have quills similar to the ones that porcupines do, which can also be dangerous to humans. The quills have been known to carry different germs that can affect people, especially if they get pricked. The germs get sent directly into the circulatory system, almost like a syringe, thanks to the sharp quills. People are reported getting fever, stomach pain, and rashes after getting pricked. It's recommended that large families with young children try to avoid getting these as a household pet, and improper care of a hedgehog that's been running around the street could easily get someone infected. Number 5. Red-Eared Slider Turtle You probably thought it was a cool idea to get a pet turtle after watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In case you thought all turtles were in the need of saving, think again. Red-Eared Slider Turtles are the most common species of turtle that's used as a pet to humans that can also manage to thrive in different areas across the globe. In places such as New South Wales and Queensland, Australia, they've become an invasive species and are posing a threat to native turtles in the land down under. They're able to reproduce, mature more quickly, and are more hostile to other turtle species in the area. Numerous studies have shown that they're able to outcompete most turtles for food, and their voracious appetite for frogs can make those go in danger too. Australia has done their best to eradicate these turtles, who are becoming a major nuisance. Eating them doesn't seem to be a great solution either, because they can spread salmonella very easily. This species of turtle has been banned in the state of Florida to keep them from being released into the wild. Number 4. The Frilled Lizard This strange reptile looks like a modern-day dinosaur, and he's got the frills to prove it. Found in Northern Australia and in New Guinea, it has excess skin that allows it to flare up when it feels threatened in order to make the predators back away. They might not always be easy to spot due to their excellent camouflage that blends in well with tree bark. It typically stays in the trees unless it needs to find food or fight off other lizards who are in their territory. Feasting on the diets of beetles, mice, termites, and butterflies, with the right conditions, these lizards are known to grow rapidly with a good food source. When the cane toad was introduced as an invasive species, the frilled lizard population skyrocketed in Australia. Number 3. Bengal Cats Bengal cats are hybrids between domestic cats and an Asian leopard cat. Bengal cats are known for their spunky personalities, who are a little bit more on the wild side than your average house cat. They're known to jump really high and have spots like a real leopard. This is not like breeding a lion and a tiger. These animals are not depressed despite some rumors and actually enjoy a few health benefits from your average cat, like immunity to feline leukemia. To keep one of these at home, it's best to keep at least three generations of domestication in their background. These cats need a little bit extra attention and shouldn't be outside cats or they may just go back to their wild ways. Due to their ability to jump really high, they can escape enclosures, hop fences, and get to places that are really hard to get to for humans. They will also relentlessly hunt things such as squirrels, birds, chipmunks, and other small animals. Owners might have noticed their apex predator-like capabilities and in the right environment, they may begin to spread. Number 2. Giant African Land Snails have you ever considered having a pet snail before? This massive snail was originally brought to Africa as a type of pet or even a food source and has become an invasive species. This giant species of snail is also known as the giant tiger snail and they're native to Western Africa in countries like Ghana, Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast, and Togo. Growing up to 7.1 inches long and 3.5 inches in diameter, it's a snail with a big appetite. They're known to eat awful things including rat feces and even stucco on homes so that should never be eaten by humans. Being able to lay up to 1,200 eggs at a time, with no natural enemies, the population has gotten out of control. It's been a stable food source for the locals in those countries in Africa, but they are prone to infectious diseases. Would you eat something that ate poop? And before we get to our number one, we'd like to ask you guys, have you dealt with any of these invasive species? Let us know in the comments section and we will feature you in an upcoming video. And number one, Burmese pythons. These large pythons start off as pets, but when the owners started to realize that keeping a large snake in their home was not only expensive but also dangerous, they began releasing them into the wild. Hurricane Andrew also managed to free many captive Burmese pythons from breeding facilities in the Everglades. Being able to reproduce much quicker than hunters can take them out, Burmese pythons are reaching apex predator status with even humans and alligators on the menu. In places like Florida, they've managed to thrive and have become a rapidly growing problem. What's really scary about Burmese pythons is that they're excellent swimmers. This means that they can not only travel but disrupt multiple ecosystems of their choosing. Ecologists in the Florida Everglades are abducting these pythons, inserting tracking devices in them, and then following them around. Hopefully it will lead to them taking out bigger populations. 
So what'd you guys think of that video? Be sure to let us know in the comments below and then see us next time.